a born again believer to save a show and tell generation. Wow. 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 How is it that we can compete with the signs of success and what do we say against the wisdom of a seemingly prosperous population? Well, the answer is in stop tripping. The answer rests right there in the title of my message today and it's basically built upon the fact that we have to stop tripping. When, when you're saved, the system of operation is different than the one that worked based on status that is tied to stuff. For the system of the saved is based on the power of the sacrifice of trust. The system is completely different once you cross over to being saved because it's not tied, Scarlet, to what you got or it's not tied to what you know, TC. It's tied into our ability to sacrifice in order yeah. to trust. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Verse 22 and 23 of our text says, Jews demand miraculous signs and Greeks look for wisdom, but we preach Christ crucified, a stumbling block to Jews and foolishness to Gentiles. The power of salvation is rooted in the sacrifice of trust and therefore can only come by way of experience. Okay. I got a little bit of work to do and then I'm going to be out of your head. But touch your neighbor and tell them, stop tripping. Turn to the other neighbor and say, stop tripping. I, I don't think they're getting stop, stop tripping. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you say you got to stop tripping. Here's, here's, here's what we need to stop tripping about. When you, you need to stop tripping when you don't know. Right, right, right. Uh, follow me, I'm in the text. 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 27 says, God chooses the foolish things of the world to shame the wise. Do you see that? Yeah. In a show and tell generation, one in which is based itself upon what it knows, falls prey and becomes utterly powerless when put into a situation when it doesn't know what it doesn't know. Let me say that one more again. We need to stop tripping when we don't know. Because the culture that we live in bases all of its power on being able to handle situations by what it knows. The converse to that is that if it doesn't know, it has no power. See, if you don't know nothing and you are basing all of your strength on what you got to prove you got power, uh -huh. the moment that you prove you don't know nothing, yeah. all your power is gone. Yeah. The very thing that this world boasts of becomes the very burden that it must bear. We, we now live in an age where people are on information overload. Where everybody feels as though they need to know everything. This is what the old folks used to call jacks. You, you, you heard this statement before where, where the people who are so busy are jacks of every trade. <laughs> Masters of absolutely nothing. And then we sit here in this world wondering why things are so jacked up. It's because people know too much. We spend so much time filling ourselves with stuff we think we need to know. That the moment we get into a situation where we don't know, we're running around like we ain't got no power at all. But I stopped by here in order to encourage somebody and to instruct somebody, stop tripping when you don't know. For the power of salvation creates a contrast in the culture. 
But when we find ourselves in a position where 